Well, my computer just did the weirdest things. But what's up, y'all? It's the ninth again. Um, I just recorded the previous video. It's 9.53 now. I forgot to tell the time before. But, I came on because I was listening to the other video to make sure my audio was good. And I remember about the credit, like, uh, the credit piece I was listening to. And I was like, wait, I forgot to kind of break down something I wanted to say. So, listen, y'all. 619 may not be a lot. But for a chick who was coming from 480... Yeah, I did it all by myself, okay? I disputed a lot of shit on my credit. I guess they couldn't approve a lot of shit. Student loans got forgiven. I didn't even realize that. But everybody's doing self. I tried to do self, but I couldn't afford it. I couldn't. Self is not for people who are really pinching their, their coins. So I found kick off. Kick off. Sorry if my speech is messed up, but with this tooth thing, my speech has changed. And it's so annoying because I can hear it myself. Because I even trip while I'm saying it. But, um, kickoff. Kickoff is what I did. And the reason why I was able to do kickoff, kickoff is very, very, very affordable. Um, they're not, for, I'm doing a free promotion here, basically, you could say. But I'm doing it to educate you guys better because I don't know who else is pinching their coins but would like to fix their credit so that they can get better things in life, whether it be a home, a car, whatever you're trying to get. Here, but, uh, but kick off for like $2.53 a month. She was rushing me before, and now she's like, she's gonna be 15 20 minutes late. Yo, can I get my coffee? Like, I don't care, I just need a cup of coffee. But, anyways, back to kickoff. Sorry, you guys. First, you was not changing the subject. I'm not, I'm not, not changing the subject. Kickoff. Okay, so when I first started, they didn't have like that loan thing like self does but they do have it now and it's only ten dollars a month and with them i got a credit i started with a credit of 500 but they're like books that you get they're audio books that you buy for like you know a certain amount or you can just buy more time to have the loan open and then they give you like they're letting you borrow supposedly money and you're paying it back but every time you make a payment that gets recorded to your to the credit bureaus just like self does you're just saving more money in your pocket so based on what you quote unquote buy the books that you buy which you can read because they get delivered to you electronically um based on the books that you buy is based you know on what your loan is going to be so like right now my loan went up to 750 but i'm only using like 30 dollars of it so my payments are like two dollars and 53 cents that i'm sending every month and then my they have now like i said a loan one like, you know, the, the savings account thing where you build and then you get that money at the end, um, which is just like self. Um, not, I did that one up when they started offering it, so it's $10 a month, and at the end, it's 120 you get back um, once you make those payments. And that builds your credit as well, but it doesn't break your pocket. So if you're pinching coins, but you want to get your credit fixed and don't know how to do it, Besides dispute, just dispute everything on your credit. I'm not a credit expert. I'm just telling you what I did that brought me from 480 to 619. Um, I disputed everything on my credit. That's I did that mainly to get anything off that could improve that I had that debt or old stuff that wasn't supposed to be there anymore because the time frame had gone by. Um that let me know how much my actual debt is and what's left you feel me so that i can have an idea of when i start trying to figure out how to fix the rest of my credit when i have more you know financial freedom to do so i can figure it out but until then kickoff has been building it and then i was approved when i started doing kickoff and kickoff started building my credit i did get approved for two separate credit cards of 300 each the way that i use those credit cards is you're not supposed to use no more than 100 more than 50% of the credit allowed on that line. So I try not to have no more than 150 used, and I try to use it only if I need it. So if I know that I need the cash, 
like I need to save the cash and I have to pay this bill and I'm gonna buy whether it be whatever I have to get with the credit cards instead of with the cash and then the moment I have the money to pay I don't care if the bills do or not I'll pay it and I always try to pay $20 over what they claim the bill is going to be sometimes if I have a couple of extra more dollars I'll throw another payment in there even though I already paid the bill for the month I'll throw another payment right before the bill is due um and I learned this I forgot where I learned this I can't remember if it was on Instagram or if I saw it on, I, don't, I don't think I saw it on somebody's TikTok but I'm not on TikTok like that so I had it been on Instagram where they were saying if you do a double payment if you do a payment like a uh, a week before your bill is due, like a week or two before your bill is due, do half the payment then. It doesn't matter if it's the full payment or not. Do half the payment then, and then if you complete and add a little bit extra right on the due date or before the due date when the bill is actually due, it the credit bureaus register it as like two actual full payments on the credit card, so it brings your credit down up more. Sorry. It brings your credit up more. Um, and it's making you look like, you know what I'm saying? And then if you're not able to do it the next month, it's fine. Because as long as you pay before your bill is due, I, like I said, I try to pay $20 extra. You're showing the credit and the credit bureaus are seeing like what you're doing. And they're seeing your history. It doesn't matter that you have all this ugliness before. What matters is what you're trying to build now. Like show your stability now. And that's what I'm doing. I'm showing them, even though I'm in this situation, I'm making it work and I'm not fucking up my credit. Contrary, I'm bringing it up. I just wanted to go, come on here and just, again, inform y'all. I don't know who's trying to work on their credit. I don't know what y'all financial situation is looking like. But if I can be in this situation and go from a 480 to a 619, and really didn't spend much, really didn't do much because I don't have the ability to do either. Y'all can do it too. Y'all can do it too. And I'm really gunning on going to buy me a mobile home. Like, I'm, it's looking like trying to rent from a private landlord right now is pretty sticky just as hard as anything else. So, my last option may be having to buy a mobile home. And that's why I'm fixing my credit because once SSI tells you, approved there's back payment that I'm owed and because of our situation it's considered an emergency because we're considered homeless even though we're living in a motel down here we're considered homeless since we don't have a permanent residence um I can ask for the money up front and go put it down as a deposit on a mobile home see what I'm saying when I have solutions I just need the financial aspect to accomplish these things like I've always done everything get up on my two legs and go do it I can't do that now kick off gave me an opportunity to fix something that I was I couldn't afford self it was just too much and I'm um try to go to kick off and give out it and work out and try again and see if they let me so I can build her credit too but another trick is um if you know that you're really good on your bills you feel me I know credit sometimes get messed up and you can still be all right on your bills. But if you know that, because it could be medical and, you know what I'm saying, loans and shit like that. But if you have one credit card that you know you're always paying, that you're not behind on, and that you never have no issues with, put one of your children on there or put your partner on there if they don't have their own credit cards, if they have bad credit or whatever. Because when somebody puts another person on their credit, starts to throw positive points towards that other person even though the application wasn't for them even though the credit card is not theirs but because their name was added on to that credit of mine it reports it to that person's credit okay so every time you're making those payments every time yours is going up that child that spouse whoever you're adding on will go up and they'll start to build credit I didn't learn about this till a few months ago. Bama's at an eight now. And so instead of being at a zero, she's at an eight. You know what I'm saying? But I'm making sure that those two cards are paid. 
you know, consistently every month. I don't want to mess her credit up. And I am fixing mine. So you have to make sure that you're going to be consistent. This way, you're building credit for your child. So by the time they actually become 18, they'll have good credit. And they won't have to struggle to find what they need. You're giving them a little bit of financial freedom. Just a little bit. But teach them how to use it. You know what I'm saying? Like, Bella has her credit card. She'll ask me before she gets something. And again, it's only if we don't have the money and we really need it. We try to use the cards for that purpose. Like, okay, we really need to get this. The next money's coming on this time. I know we can pay it before this. All right, get it. It's okay. But you got to be smart about it, okay? I just wanted to give y'all that. I just wanted to throw that out there. I don't know. Like I said, who needs to work on their credit? I don't know who's having problems with what. But this is something that is working for me. And because it's working for me, I just figured I'll pay it forward. And, you know, explain it to somebody else. But down go kick off. Go look it, look it up. Go check it out. If you can't afford self, this is definitely the best way. And if you already have self and you still do kick off because it's cheap, you're just building your credit. That's all you're doing. Just building your credit. You're showing more positive accounts towards your credit. And kick off started making a difference in mine within the first month of me having it. So... Just gonna sit that there with y'all, do what you want with the info, but um, be blessed, alright?